It was one of those bizarre freak accidents that shocked the Suncoast and made news across the country. A father and a daughter enjoying the moment on the beautiful beach only to be struck and killed by a small plane making an emergency landing. It has been nearly two years and Christopher Brantley joins us with more on the family still trying to cope with an incredible loss. Christopher. Well, good evening, Alan. It was the a day the Irizarry family will never forget, a beautiful, crisp day that ended in tragedy. We spoke to the family last week at All Children's Hospital in St. Petersburg, where they gave a presentation about organ donations. They explained how they turned their worst day into the best day for those in need. First of all, just tell me... You can learn a lot of resilience by looking into Rebecca Irizarry's eyes, holding strong two years after her world came to a crushing halt. She, her husband, two daughters and stepson were vacationing on Casperson Beach, July 2014. They were celebrating the ninth anniversary of a love story straight out of a novel. He came every day to the aid station and asked for a Band-Aid, but just one. <laughs> Was that just a ploy to talk to It you? was just a ploy to talk to me. <laughs> it was very sweet. Rebecca served in the Illinois National Guard. She was deployed to Baghdad where she met Omi, a sergeant in the Army. The couple married and had two girls, Ava and Oceana. In his last duty assignment um, at Fort Stewart, he worked with wounded warriors in the, warrior, um, the wounded warrior transition unit. So he did a great job. Omi loved the ocean and was fascinated with shark's teeth. He went diving all over the world, seen here in Malta. The family traveled from their home in Georgia to Venice, the shark's teeth capital of the world. It was the best day. It was a wonderful day. It was beautiful. And it was very unexpected. Um, very tragic. July 27th, the family was diving and playing in the water. Omi and Oceana were walking together when a single-engine 1972 Piper Cherokee plane was making an emergency landing on the beach. With no engine running, Omi and Oceana could not hear it coming. It struck them both. Planes don't just fall out of the sky. Omi died on the scene. Nine-year-old Oceana was taken to All Children's Hospital in St. Petersburg. A short time later, she was pronounced dead. The family was devastated. Oceana's sister, Ava, remembers her father. My mom would always be at it because he let me do things. Rebecca now had to pick up the pieces of an awful situation and move forward. My husband and my daughter, I knew 100% that that's something that they would want to do. Um, Omi and I had previously talked about it. I knew he wanted to be an organ donator. In Florida alone, there are over 5,500 people in need of new organs. 8,000 people die in the U.S. each year because the organs they needed were not donated in time. Rebecca decided her husband and daughter could help. Through one organ donor, as many as eight lives can be saved, and through the gifts of tissue donation, including things such as skin for burn victims, corneas to restore sight, bone for reconstructive surgery, and tendons and ligaments, more than 60 people can be impacted. Oceana was able to save the life of an eight-year-old boy. He's a soccer player, but was sidelined because of a bad liver. He received Oceana's, and now he's healthy, back to playing soccer. Their legacy lives on in saving the lives of others through their gifts given. On the first anniversary of the crash, Rebecca went back to Casperson Beach. It was the first time she had been back since that fateful day. I wouldn't say for closure because I don't think there's ever going to be closure in a situation like this, but um, I don't know. I just needed to be there. Rebecca said learning to keep moving forward has been the hardest part. But it has been made easier because of something Omi once told her while still serving overseas. He said if anything should ever happen to him, he wanted me to continue and to be happy. I mean, our key as a family was happiness, and our motto was life is for living, and life is for living. So while I am here, um, I will live it to the fullest, and I will certainly make sure my daughter lives her life to the fullest. And that's exactly what he would want. Rebecca and her daughter have since moved back to Georgia. They told us they want others to know how important or organ donations are. They're hopeful many more lives can be saved than were lost on that beach July 2014. Christopher, thank you.